I want to talk about a quick, you know, a few key sort of takeaways from my session. It's it's very exciting time to be in the uh, domain name and hosting space in India at this point in time. India's at a cusp of a you know massive growth spurt when it comes to websites and domain names. The in internet penetration in India is just at uh, between 10 to 15 percent, and in the next five years, by your um, 2016, the internet penetration is slated to reach about 30-35%, which is about 350 million internet users from the current 125 million. That will make India the third largest economy with regards to internet users in the world. Um, that res results in an unprecedented opportunity, and in fact, my um, keynote address sort of covers that, it represents an unprecedented opportunity for web hosting companies, web design companies, domain registration companies. Um, uh, a general market sizing shows that it's a you know $2.5 billion opportunity between now and five years from now, just between these three products, not counting the opportunities in, in the cloud space and dedicated servers and VPSs and e-commerce and digital certificates, etc. cetera. Uh, India is a, is, is a really exciting place and, and it's, it's amazing to be a part of this, uh, this kind of an event where, uh, where really the people who want to make a difference in terms of capitalizing on this opportunity over the next five years uh, have all come together. Welcome to uh, the Reseller Club Hosting Summit in association with um, graciously VeriSign, um, the registry behind .com and .net. Um, as 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 Shreya said, you know this, uh, this event and conference has been in sort of planning stages for a few months now, uh, maybe a little bit more than a few months, and the team has done an, an outstanding job um, at at gathering everybody out here for um, some really informative sessions and and networking and um, and you know as, as sort of the theme says, you know learn, grow, and profit. Uh, you know one of the one of the important aspects. I mean, I, I know I've had a bunch of discussions with you know all the effort is 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 that of the reseller clubs team, uh, but I've had a bunch of discussions with them about this um, about this hosting summit. And one of the things that I uh, that I really wanted to um, make sure, uh, just like Sridhar was talking about, we've attended a large number of web hosting conferences um, and domain registration conferences and whatever not across the globe. Um, and in, in, at this conference, one of the things I really wanted to make sure we want to really make sure is that is that you actually not only get an opportunity to network with a lot of people, you know, thousands of people will be coming here, but the sessions themselves carry value in terms of what you will take away in terms of understanding the Indian market, in terms of understanding the opportunity for web hosting, web design, domain names, um, and the space in this, in this country. Uh, and so we've got some amazing sessions. Um, I, I'm um, myself participating in two of the sessions, um, the keynote right now and a session later in the day, and I hope to add as much value as, as, I, as I possibly can. Um, and so I'll start off with, um, uh, with my presentation, uh, which is about the India story um, in the next five years. And, and that's really the, the fun part of this, and that's one of the reasons why we organize this summit, uh, is, is, is to sort of talk about and, and get everybody excited about and get everybody working towards making this story a success uh, between now and 2016. Um, and so, um, can I actually get the clicker? Um, and so, you know, I want to start off with uh, this first slide. We're a very numbers-driven company, by the way. You'll see a direct tie, you know, across Reseller Club, Big Rock, Logic Boxes, and all the businesses that we run. Uh, we're all geeks at heart. Um, and so we're a very numbers-driven company. We do a lot of statistical analysis on the domain name space in the ho hosting industry. We also run a website called uh, webhosting.info that many of you guys uh, use and, and, and visit. Uh, and so one of the analysis, um, one amongst the many different sort of industry analysis that we perform on a regular basis is this sort of quarterly domains ad analysis we perform internally. Um, and this sort of shows a table of, of uh, domain names, only GTLDs, um, so it's ComNet, Org, Biz, Info, um, all the GTLDs, sold across the world, and I've only picked up a bunch of the countries uh, in the last quarter, um, I think it was July, August, September, um, uh, July to September, um, in some sense, right? Uh, and so you'll see this it sort of a, shows a ranking in terms of uh, in terms of where each country stands and their percentage market share in terms of the number of domain names and therefore number of websites that were sold in each of these countries in exactly the last um, three months. Uh, and so obviously, the United States is the top of charts, uh, constitutes about 44, 45% of all the domain names, all the GTLDs sold in the entire world, um, at about five and a half million domain names um, um, that were sold. Uh, they were bought by registrants in the U.S. So the, the way this analysis works is we actually see uh, what the country of the registrant, the country the owner of the domain name is, right? China is the second um, at 12% of the global market share at 1.5 million domain names. And by the way, just four to five years ago, China was nowhere in the map in terms of total number of domain names registered, um, except if you count the domains they were selling at one RMB um, in .cn. Uh, but you know, now you'll see, you see the significant amount of growth that China has seen starting you know, last year in terms of total domain names registered, right? Then you have UK, Canada, and you'll see not a very pretty picture uh, for all of us sitting out here um, that India is at sort of the 10th position 
with, with a 1.7% market share in all the websites and domain names sold around the world, a mere 211,000 uh, 211, odd domain names sold um, in that quarter, which is like, you know what, 120, one, 1 by 22 of, of the market share in the US. You know, even China is about six odd times bigger than us, or seven odd times bigger than us in terms of number of domain names sold per quarter. Um, and, and so that's a huge gap. Um, you know, 211,000 to, you know, 1.5 million for China and, um, and 5 million for, um, 5.5 million for the US. Um, and what you see as a gap um, is what really the true opportunity is, right? And so let's, let's take a look at what do these top countries actually have in common. So, so if you once again look at that same table, you know, same, same five countries we saw um, in, the first, um, in the first table, uh, now you take a look at their internet penetration, which is the number of people out of the entire population that are connected to the internet. And you'll see sort of a common theme Every one of them is somewhere 40% and above in terms of internet penetration in that respective country, uh, except for India. India is at 10.2% internet penetration. So out of the billion plus people that we have, you know, close to about 150 million people are connected to the internet or utilize the internet or use the internet. While in the US, it's about 80 out of every 100 people. In China, it's 40 out of every 100 people. In Canada and, and UK, it's again 80 out of every, every 100 people. So you'll see in, in all these markets, which are the top economies in the world when it comes to websites, the common factor is that they have already reached the peak of their internet penetration. In case of China, they've already reached sort of almost close to half the population in the country. And it sort of starts making sense, right? I mean, think about it. In every country, and we've been doing this analysis, by the way, for the last nine years across the top 25 countries in the world. So we have a lot of numbers and stats that we can share with you if you're interested. Uh, but if you really think about it, um, it makes sense, right? Which is that if one out of every 10 people in the country is connected to the internet, then having a domain name and having a website for my business or my individual presence is not really a necessity. I mean, it's, it's probably something that'll help me. It'll probably be something that, that'll grow my business, but it's not a supreme necessity because I'm addressing one-tenth of the population in the country. But the moment you start looking at internet penetration rates of 30, 40, 50%, if every alternate, if out of every two people that I meet in the country, if one of them is going to be connected to the internet, then clearly having a web presence is no longer a luxury. It's a necessity. I have to have one. Without that, I can't run my business. Without that, I cannot achieve my goals, right? Um, and so you'll see this is a common factor. Whenever, an, whenever a country's, you know, we track these two ratios, IPR, which we call internet penetration ratio, and DPR, which we call domain penetration ratio. Uh, and we track these numbers very closely for every economy in the world on a quarterly basis. And you'll see the standard trend every single in every single geo is that IPR is sort of the lead factor and DPR is the lag factor. So first, the internet penetration of a country grows and domains are sort of lagging behind for some time. The moment it hits a trigger point of 30-35%, domain names start to grow fairly rapidly and when it hits about 40-45%, you'll see a significant shoot up in, in terms of domain names and websites. Um, and so that's what I, was, I, I said you know, a few minutes ago, that what you, what you see is a gap is actually the biggest opportunity that you can potentially realize. Um, so this is sort of the, the graph of internet users in, in those five countries, right? The red line is the United States um, at about, I can't read, but about, you know, close to about 250 million or higher than 250, 275 million internet users. The rest of the graphs are Brazil, um, Russia, China, et cetera, UK. Um, and you'll see that one little blue line that sort of, you know, has started peaking up. Um, in terms of number of internet users, and that, that line actually is India. These are the last five years, so up till 2012. So from 2007 to 2012, um, that's the graph of internet users in these you know, five countries. Um, you know, as I said, 10.2% internet penetration in India. And this is the graph in the next five years. So if you look at the blue line, which represents India, we're currently at about 150 million internet users, slated to grow to up to about 350 to 400 million internet users by year 2016. And it's important to sort of, you know, you know um, um, point out something that, that in the entire world, there's going to be only one country that will see this graph. There is no other country in the entire world. Let me repeat that. No other country in the entire world except India that will see this graph in the next five years in terms of internet penetration and, and growth of internet users. And all of you guys are sitting in this country to capitalize on this opportunity. So, um, you know, I'm sort of now, the, so this is a graph for 10 years for India, starting from 2007, the last five years, and the next five years projected out that you see in this, um, in this graph, getting, going up to, growing up to 400 million internet users. 
Um, this is just those last five years, so from 2012 to 2016, um, um, uh, the growth that India is going to see um, in terms of internet users. This is the internet penetration percentage. So India is currently about somewhere near 15% internet penetration, and we're going we're gonna to grow to you know, somewhere near 30% to 35% internet penetration in the next five years. And that's why I said the trigger points are somewhere when you start hitting about 30%, you, you're going to start seeing significant growth in terms of websites and, um, and domain names, et cetera, in this country. Um, and, you know, let's, let's lo look at another interesting comparison. There is a country outside of India that actually saw the exact same graph in the last five years. So this chart actually shows you China's growth in the last five years and India's growth in the next five years. And you'll see the similarity between the two graphs and can in some sense therefore correlate to the similarity that you will see in terms of potential for domain names and websites and hosting products in this country across the next five years. Right? So that's the exact same. The, the red line is India. The blue line is China. Um, China in the last four to five years and India in the next, uh, uh, next four to five years. Um, and so, you know, right now we're at, you know, 211,000 domain names. And China, as I said, at 12% um, of the global market share, 38% internet penetration is currently doing about 1.5 million domain names. Um, that's what we expect India to get um, slowly but surely building up, um, or rather rapidly building up, between now and 2016. Uh, and so this is sort of a rough projection that we've done from our side in terms of the way we see the market, at least in the next five years, um, as far as India is concerned. And, and you know, Forget all the individual numbers. You see, 2016 total domains added over and above what we already have is another 6 million domains. Um, and so if you look at Boeing 2012, where we're right now roughly at around 4 million domains in, in the country, um, we're looking to get to 10 million domain names. That's 6 million more additional domains and websites in just the next five years. And so what does this mean for the next five years? What does it mean in terms of market size for all of you guys sitting out here um, in terms of an opportunity? So if you look at you know, the various products that all of us out here sell, um, in terms of domain names, this means this is sort of the sum total number of transactions every year that will take place as far as domain names are concerned. Um, at a rough $10 per domain name in terms of revenue, this translates to a $372 million opportunity for all of us in the next five years just for selling domain names. What does it mean in terms of hosting? So we again do, um, we do a bunch of analysis again on a quarterly basis that translates sort of how many domain names across the world actually set up a website. Um, and the rough number typically tends to vary between 38 to 41%. We actually go fairly deep in terms of then analyzing. And I'm talking about actual hosted websites, by the way, not parked websites, not monetizing, you know, not websites that monetize, uh, uh, you know, um, ad ads, etc. I'm talking about genuine, legitimate, um, you know, five page to 50 page to 500 page websites and portals and, and shopping sites, etc. Uh, and so we sort of take samples of these and we actually even drill down in terms of what are they used for, um, you know, how many of them cat, you know, categorize as business, which is obviously the biggest category. So out of that 40%, roughly about 27% of the websites um, are for business. So 27 out of every 100 domain names, um, um, 40 out of every 100 domain names set up a website, and 27 of those are actually some sort of a business. Um, you know, 6% um, individual, and then sort of the categories eventually break down. But when you look at it, each of these 40 websites We'll need to buy a hosting package, whether it's shared hosting, VPSs, dedicated servers, et cetera, from all of you guys, uh, from all of us. Um, and so if I look at just shared hosting revenue, assuming that all of these websites, all of these 40% websites are just buying a um, single hosting package each, on the assumption that this hosting package is being sold at around $36 per annum, that translates to a $537 million opportunity for just web hosting. Um, many of you guys out here um, also sort of um, web designers and, and consultants and application developers are going to develop all these applications and develop all these web, you know, websites and, and web presence for all these customers. Um, and so again, taking an assumption that these websites that will be designed by all of you guys at roughly around $200 per website, one-time revenue, so I have taken a fairly conservative estimate, uh, it's about 10,000 rupees per website, that translates to a $1.2 billion opportunity between now and 2016. So you sort of add all of that together, and you're talking about a $2.1 billion opportunity between now 
and 2016 for domain names, web hosting, and website design. And this doesn't even cover cloud, VPS, dedicated servers, digital certificates, e-commerce websites, and a ton of other opportunities that every one of you out here um, capitalizes on. So it's a $2.1 billion op dollar opportunity, five years in, in you know, starting today for up to about four to five years from now. Um, and it's only going to grow bigger than that um, and it's only going to grow faster than that at that point in time. So, you know, um, as you can tell, um, a fairly massive opportunity for all of us, right? Um, that's sort of the crux of, you know, you know, what I wanted to cover largely in terms of statistics and, and uh, um, some information I want to share with you guys in terms of why we're so excited about this market and why we're investing so much behind this market from our side. Um, and, you know, I'll just quickly um, um, shamelessly plug in a few slides about sort of Reseller Club in terms of how we're going to help you guys get there and work with you guys to get there is we've got an amazing suite of products. I'm going to run through these because you can actually um, you know, stop by at any of our booths and, and talk to um, some of these guys and myself. Uh, but we have you know, uh, the whole line of products, shared hosting, um, reseller hosting, VPS hosting, and we're setting up cloud dedicated and, um, and other products, et cetera, geolocated in various different countries. So we've got India, UK, US, um, soon to set up G Germany, Turkey, and, um, and, and other locations globally. Um, many more TLDs and many more product options. And Reseller Club is always primarily focused on making sure that all of you guys, companies like you, can, can take a pie, take a piece of this $2.1 billion pie and make maximum profits while we support you in the back end. You know, we're all, as I said, we're all geeks at heart. We support you in the back end with our technology um, and our support. Uh, you know, we offer sort of a full fledged website from where you can you know, sell these products to your customers, a uh, full-fledged API through which you can integrate your own sites and your own billing, et cetera. We also offer, you know, free payment gateway um, service to every, um, um, to every reseller. Um, we're sort of launching that. It's in, it's in beta stage, so that allows you to sort of collect, um, um, you know, collect money and, and revenue from, from your customers, right? Um, and so that sort of completes my presentation. Once again, you know, I want to sort of um, talk about, we're really excited about this conference. It's the, it's the first time that, that we've set up a conference in India, um, and, and I'm really impressed and amazed, both the team and all of you guys, to see the kind of turnout that we see out here. Uh, so once again, a big hand for everybody, um, including uh, the team at Reseller Club. Uh, Asia's largest hosting conference the first time around. We're planning to take this conference to other locations, so we're looking at Reseller Club hosting summit in China, in Turkey, um, and a couple of other locations. Um, and so that, that finishes everything. Um, I want to end with also a thanks to our title sponsors, um, VeriSign, um, who are responsible and in charge of, well, the .com and .net space worldwide. Um, and thank you to everybody who's, uh, who's come here.